I'm going to talk about the international advocacy on academic freedom. I would like to highlight some accomplishments and challenges in Latin America. In the previous video, I told you about how academic freedom is a human right with normative grounds in international human rights law. However, it has not received enough, enough attention and it requires further normative development. It is necessary to create a normative body that guarantees academic freedom from its individual and also from its collective notion. This is very important because academic freedom is a necessary element for democracy and development. What is academic freedom's main purpose? It is to protect the production and transfer of scientific knowledge. Universities support critical thinking and scientific knowledge in democracies. So the need to create international standards on academic freedom is necessary since universities and academicians have often been targeted by authoritarian regimes. Academic freedom means the freedom of members of the academic community, individually or collectively, in the pursuit, development, and transmission of knowledge through research, study, discussion, documentation, production, teaching, lecturing, and writing, as it is recognized in the Lima Declaration on Academic Freedom and Autonomy of Higher Education Institutions. Uh, regarding the international advocacy, work on academic freedom and the accomplishments and challenges in Latin America, I would like to highlight the importance of developing advocacy before the human rights bodies from the different international human rights protection systems uh, from the United Nations but also from the regional ones for example in the case of Latin America the inter-American system of protection of human rights but we also should develop different advocacy strategies before the parliaments, before the international community, key actors, before the political bodies from international organizations, as the general secretaries or other offices. Regarding some main ideas for discussion, I wonder, is there a gap in international human rights law regarding academic freedom? And the answer is yes. It is necessary to develop international standards on this. Other question, are international human rights bodies focused on academic freedom? Yes, but attention should be increased. I would like to share with you some personal experience that we have had from Aula Abierta and the other human rights centers from different universities and NGOs in Venezuela before international human rights bodies. In 2014, when we began to address some reports on restrictions and reprisals against academic freedom and university autonomy, we received the information from the different offices from the United Nations that it was the first time in the history of the United Nations that they received a specific report on violations on academic freedom, for example. We frequently talk with some offices from different um, international offices who didn't understand very well what academic freedom means and who sometimes confused the scope of its protection with the one from the uh, freedom of expression or also right to education. For that reason, it's very important to uh, work on academic freedom minimum standards. In 2015, uh, we participated as civil society representatives before the Committee on Civil and Political Rights, which was evaluating the situation on Venezuela. Uh, and also, uh, we participated as civil society representative before the second cycle of the Universal Periodic Review, uh, which evaluated in the, uh, the situation of human rights in Venezuela in 2016. In those um, scenarios, 
we try in a collaborative way to present some reports on the violation of academic freedom, on the restrictions of autonomy of the higher education institutions in Venezuela, and also on the violations of the different human rights from university actors. I mean, professors, researchers, uh, students, and other civil society representatives. Regarding the Inter-American system of protection of human rights, it is very important to say that in 2017, uh, we participated in the first hearing of the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights regarding the right to education. We presented the um, concerns on the violation of academic freedom and autonomy of the higher education institutions in Venezuela. The Inter-American Commission on Human Rights has paid attention on the situation of academic freedom and the situation of the autonomy of universities, not only in Venezuela, but also in Latin America since this uh, hearing in 2017. And we would like to thank to the Inter-American Commission for um, this particular interest. It is notable that in 2019, the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights approved a request from Aula Abierta, Open Class NGO and other institutions to um, develop a um, session specifically focused on the situation of academic freedom and uh, autonomy of the higher education institutions in the Americas, in the continent. It was a regional audience uh, that, what, that was uh, held in Bolivia in February of 2019. And it was a very important scenario to uh, identify the different patterns and practices against academic freedom and autonomy of the higher education institutions, uh, not only in Venezuela, but also in Latin American countries, for example, in Cuba, in Nicaragua, in Bolivia, and other uh, spaces. During 2019 and 2020, the Inter-American Commission and its special rapporteurs, especially the Rapporteur on Economic, Social, Cultural and Environmental Rights and the Rapporteur on Freedom of Expression, had been focus on the situation of academic freedom, not only in Venezuela, but also in the continent, in the Americas. It is very important to uh, highlight that the Inter-American Commission expresses its concerns at the allegation of interference in university autonomy and also about the violation on academic freedom in the report on democratic institutions, the rule of law and human rights in Venezuela, published by the Inter-American Commission on February uh, of um, 2018. It was the direct consequence of the advocacy work that different organizations in Venezuela were doing since 2016 and especially 2017. It's also remarkable that the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michel Bachelet, uh, has been focused on the situation of academic freedom and autonomy of higher education institutions in Venezuela. For example, in July uh, of 2019, she presented a report before the Human Rights Council of the United Nations, and she expressed her concerns on the gross violations of human rights in Venezuela, but she mentioned the situation of the autonomy of higher education institutions in my country. El espacio democrático. Lamento también los recientes ataques del gobierno en contra de la autonomía universitaria. Mi oficina documentó. My recommendation to international human rights bodies is that they should determine standards on what are the exact subjects under academic freedom protection, what is the object and main purposes, limits to academic freedom. What its main distinction with other rights, such as freedom of expression, information, right to education, freedom of association, among others? 
My suggestion is to study the general comment 13 from the Committee on Economic, Social, Cultural Rights of the United Nations, which is very accurate, but it needs to be regulated also in a broader sense. I am very happy to see the important efforts up to 2020 from the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights, Rapporteurs, and from the United Committee on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, United Nations High Commissioner of Human Rights, the Rapporteur on Freedom of Expression and Opinion, which is developing a report in relation to academic freedom and freedom of expression and opinion. I request the attention also from the Rapporteur on Right to Education of the United Nations. I would like to conclude asking, in the context of the United Nations Human Rights Council, is it possible to think about the creation of a special Rapporteur on Academic Freedom and Autonomy of Higher Education Institutions? I would like to invite you to watch the next video. I will talk about new types of populisms that can be seen in Latin America, current Latin American authoritarian regimes and its implications this has on academic freedom. I would like to mention also that more information can be found on Aula Abierta Open Class NGO websites and social media.